Carlos. My name is. Hi. My name is. My name is. Okay, so my name is. My name is. Hello, my name is. My name is Bo. Well, my name is Brian. My name is Charlene Tolbert. My name is Gary Turner Miller the second. And we'll call him Blue Bill the first. My name is Puedo Hablar en Español. Mi nombre es Luis Javier González Ramírez. Y puedo decirles que he estado en Eugene 30 años de homeless. Por eso me, me gustaría participar en, en el proyecto. I'm Jamie Delaney, uh, Hello, my name's uh, Jeffrey Henson. I was uh, born in Seattle, Washington, Kingston. My name is John. I'm Justin Wagner, um, almost Native American, um, Irish and Dutch on my mom's side. My name's Mark Carrington. Uh, I'm, my name's Matthew Fernandez. I'm 36 years old. I like to draw portraits mainly. Portraits, Disney, characters, anything really. I like to play mainly blues and uh, rock and roll. I just had bank issues and financial. Well, my name is Nick, and I, um, I just, like, just really recently had a, a time when I died or whatever, and I figured it out that as long as you're doing everything for the right intent, then you will die. Um, okay, so my name's Oliver. Um, I am in recovery, although I still struggle with addiction. Although I think one of the things I struggle the most with is um, kind of a selfish behavior, like thinking about myself, which just really circles around the life that I've led for the last 20 years. Um, but I am trying to think about other people and how my actions affect them. Um, so my name is Stacy Clements. Um, I'm going to be 48 years old in a week. Hey, I'm Jake Gates, and um, I'm an urban survival expert. And I do lots of chemical research and analysis for undisclosed entities. <laughs> I love it. Camera dancer, I moved to Eugene July 2nd, 2000. My name is Tim, and 
I'm looking for anything and anything that I can get my foot in the door. I'm outgoing, I'm an easy listener, and I try to get back to the community. Hi. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grandma Ruby, and um, I just want everybody to know that I'm out here supporting all the homeless people in every way I can. I'm back from North Carolina, and um, I love you too. I am Amber. My name is Bo. Well, my name is Brian. My name is Charlene. My name is Gary Turner Miller. The second. The my name is Bo. Uh, Hello, my name is uh, Jim. Hi, I'm Jim. Hi, Washington. You know, and I stopped it here, and I like here. I'm the first time that I stopped it here. It was back in the 90s. And I went, uh, I went to Canada, I live in Vancouver, British Columbia. Went on this really crazy trip for music and art because I was adopted with by the Ken Keseys pretty much. I go, I go to places where it's like Eugene, like Port Angeles, Port Townsend, Seattle, uh, Corvallis. Uh. Off and on since 1997, but I have actually been here permanently since 2011. Every few months, maybe six months every year, we're just here, there, there, here. I mean, I've been to Georgia, I've been in Missouri, Kentucky, Florida, Hawaii, Iraq, Afghanistan, um, Japan. I've been all over that world. I've been a lot around Arizona on foot, but I used to sleep on the front of these stairs a couple of years ago. Years? I mean, I've been here for a while, I'm telling you everything. No, I'm originally from uh, the corner of the border, the region all over. Yes, I work in the government stadium in Kansas City. After math, it was my labor. Been to Texas, Oklahoma, originally from Wyoming. I hate that state. <laughs> There's nothing there. Um, spent some time in Utah, Montana, California, Oregon. I did all over the United States. I lived all over the United States. wanted to live in Oregon. I didn't know where, but I knew Oregon. Um, so when I was 22, 23, I moved up here and um, have been in the Eugene area since then. And I love it. And I'm happy to be raising my kids up here in this town. I live in Glendale. Oh, nice. Yeah, Tempe, Glendale, Mesa. Yeah, I mean, I'm from here. I was from here, but I was raised in Florida for you know, a long time. And, but I moved to AZ and then Washington. I 
grew up in Alaska. I came down to Eugene in the middle of November to be with my kids and my grandkid. And um, slowly but surely, things just have not worked out. Uh, like I said, I'm 47 years old. I've got many years experience in all front of house restaurants, you know, from the cashier, hostess, buster, server, bartender, you know, barista, you know, floral design, you know, retail, and uh, I fully did not expect it to be so difficult to get employed here. I'm used to being out of woods. Being homeless. Since the age of 13, pretty much. When I was living with my dad, I was with my dad. I was with my dad most of the time. But I went from sleeping in people's front yards and they saw us burying myself and they saw us and they didn't tell us about the saw us. Well, I'm going to say that we saw this and we didn't compel it like saw this. My husband is a strong, sweet man with a good heart, a good father, and a husband. Um, and a convict, too. Mm -hmm. But oh, he was using it for most of his life because he was hurt when he was a child. And sad. And it's not good to be sad when you're being strong man. So you can drugs and be mad. I'm at home with right now. I've been drinking too much, you know. And I lose a lot of gas for the drinking. But I stopped drinking. I've been sober for six, six months right now. I tried the best I can with my help. I got to leave. Easy is so weird. You know, the, people, yeah. the people are insane. Like, yeah, it's like it's I think it's from the heat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tell everybody. You know? <laughs> it was the, like uh, dramatically tortured, dra dramatic uh, teacher, but in another country in Mexico. I love uh, spreading goodness, hopefully, and light. I think people already know that I'm a great mom and a great friend and um, a great caregiver. I don't really own anything that's important. I have a nice pair of boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I For, for five years, um, uh, but I wanted to get outside, I wanted to explore, I wanted to be able to move around, I wanted to be able to visit new cities. I actually managed to make it off the streets like two weeks ago, by any means being um, anything but myself. I'm gonna go to a shelter, because I have animals and a wife. That's really like picky about everything, how she sleeps. She has a lot of like PTSD and shit like that. But um, I made it off the streets, man, and, and uh, by the grace of, you know. Cahoots bailed me up. And I took, pulled out my phone right behind Cahoots with a rainbow. Mm -hmm. And I took their picture in the Cahoots van and helped it out on the streets in the crisis too. Right behind that van is a huge rainbow. Okay, my daily routine. Um, my daily routine is... So my, my routine is, you know, 
I mean, it varies day to day. It depends. There's lots of variables that come up in, in being homeless. I just keep focused on my day. I just go to meetings and help people out of need help. You know? And I do my house tours. And I'm looking for work. The routine is I wake up in the mornings to give my clients their medications, to make breakfast, to house cleaning, to make you maybe make phone calls to the doctors if they need it. Just you know, just daily routine as a normal person, you know. And it feels good to be able to do that. It feels good to have responsibilities to wake up to every day. Okay, my daily routine is way different every day now. Um, I uh, am pretty good at showering. You know, I'd say every two or three days is, is a fit. Every day now, um, I uh, am pretty good at showering. You know, I'd say every two or three days is, is efficient for me. And sometimes it's full, sometimes you're somewhere where there isn't one. Uh, so I, I do that and I brush my teeth. Probably I should do it more, for sure. I do it like every other day, not every day. And then I go out if I don't have uh, work that day. Like I said, I work two days out of the week. Um, I usually just go to the populated places and talk with people. My routine is mostly, I try to go to AA or NA, one or the other. Um, I just, just try to be more outgoing and positive. So my, my routine is, you know, eat in the morning, take shower, come to the library, you know, draw in something, do something in the library, and then, you know, sometimes I go to the mall, just killing time, you know, waiting for get back to, to the present night. And then I do a part-time caregiving job. Uh, to pay the bills, I'm a home care worker. That's pretty much all I try to do every day, is fill a little bit of... You know, drawing... And I do a part-time caregiving job uh, to pay the bills, I'm a home care worker. That's pretty much all I try to do every day, is fill a little bit of... Um, a little bit of fulfillment for myself and for my friends and in all honesty, I'm a healer, a lover, and a friend and a child of the master when it comes to protecting my friends and my friends and my friends and Propane on, um, coffee going, and then I try to provide breakfast for my two, my, my two girls and my cat and my wife. And then, uh, after that is paper chase begins, you know? I go and do whatever, I mean, whatever comes to mind, I don't really plan anything out, you know, just play it minute by minute. <laughs> It's hard to keep up with the small things, you know, like uh, personal hygiene, um, staying fed, um, what people take for granted, electricity even, or running water. So even just like making sure that I have water to drink during the day um, requires um, some sort of source. Sleeping, sleeping back on the comfort. I just don't know how they could do that. The day of the day, yes, how is it very hard? You show yourself looking for a place to eat, for a place to stay. Oh, for instance, in the city of the country, you can find a uh, particular library to 
spend the day in Apple. I felt him not who they said they were, you know, they were going to hurt us and hurt him. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank <laughs> you. 